read the pawn. Uh, the three they came under darkness divine. Get to me your shadow and rewards will be thine. All right, so we got to throw... Well, it says woodcutter, so I'm going to guess shadow axe. There you go. It doesn't matter on the uh, the durability of the tool in question or the health of it. It just cares that you even have the thing. So here, sometimes Dublin will not be teleported to you. That's why you want to use the console commands, because then once you do it, tell them about the altars. Mm -hmm. Or for your math peeps, acute would also be a really good option. Okay. Um, I didn't really have anything. This is, I think, a dungeon that was in the main game. I think it was like the final, or one of the final dungeons. Anyway, final areas. Anyway, let's go continue onward. To the final area. Dublin, you can deal with it. You can deal with them right now. Drathus is looting. Uh, that's Dublin's, okay. I want the maze. Hi. Uh, yep, we can deal with that. Did you have a weapon? Yes, you did. You had a shadow dagger. Nice. Okay, I looted everything in here. Yep. All right. Dublin, you know the rules. <laughs> Here's the wall that will prevent Dublin from following us. The eyes, the eye of the king, will light the way. The watery night, through watery night, and darkened day, you walk the path of blessed pain. With breath in hand to spark the flame. I take him, but I don't really care for taking the notes. Plus, I actually like them where they are, so they're good where they are. The strange liquid will actually heal you, but of course, it. Of course, how Oblivion works with restoration stuff in general is that, like, whatever's stronger uh, is the one that takes full effect and the other one doesn't really take full effect unless it's like it doesn't have a timer i think that's how i how i read it i think i might be wrong or that's how my field experience and oblivion is all right we're going down here all right so this is a really weird puzzle area so I'm going to go very slow, just so that, like, people can understand. So when you first arrive in here, you need to head towards the left so that this rock wall will fall. You can head to the right, but the right is not going to open because you have to go towards the left one first. And I think there's an enemy? No. So this one's just a little hot potato kind of thing. You go down this way, you go over... Where is it? Oh, did you go through this tunnel? Wait, am I thinking of a future thing? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, if you have the eyes, like, there's walls there. These zombies actually look kind of cool. If I could bring anything, I'd bring these zombies, to be fair. But I don't want to bring enemies to my thing. There's an altar here with an empty bowl in the center, but with some strange incense in there. So we're going to use the torch, which is right here. Cool. Okay, that looked weird. That looked like my detector life was going off. I love all my armor's abilities. They're all really good in their own little way. Like, the spatial awareness kind of thing is actually really nice. Considering the fact that, like, it gives you a little bit of detect life. Nothing too, in, like, uh, 
Nothing too broken, but also nothing too like weak either. I find it's just like a little bit too strong for what I would, like would love it to be. Uh, translation. I will choose to live or die. All right, I've played Yu-Gi-Oh before. Life points are life. Aha. And if you pick wrong, here's what happens. I pick the X. It's instant death. Darn, I should have picked life points. Shame. So when you pick life points, you get to the same area like the other one where you're able to use up the torch in order to unlock the next area. Now when you complete both of them, we will have a nice little turnaround over here. You will see some stairs are beginning to rise over here. Hello. No! There we go. Picked it up. Nice. Alright. Maybe I'll get into a bigger open area with being a jumping spell sword. I don't know. I think I got so used to not being a jumping spell sword anymore. Between Skyrim and between the like the old desk, I just stopped doing it. And it's sad because it was my favorite playstyle. I got so happy with it. It was my favorite playstyle. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't read that. All right. Uh, heal. We have the eyes. Not like it matters. I don't think it really affects the screen from a reading. The viper waits with tainted breath in deep shadows of waiting night in hands of thieves or a treason's death. Destroyer of poor and kings alike. The three they came under darkness divine. Give to me your shadow and rewards will be thine. Alright. So, we gotta give it the shadow dagger. Oops. I didn't need to equip it. I need to drop it. There we go. Got the little magical effect. Got a stone dagger. Nice. Twisted light. And now you have two different ways that open up. They both lead to the same area. Yay. It's just symmetrical. Okay. What a crazy statue. Uh, If you have a old computer uh sometimes you might see lag in this area i had a computer at one point that lagged on that uh where we saw that fire skeleton thing okay here's what i mean okay so when you have the eyes you're supposed to be able to see a pathway that leads from here to all the way at the end and as you can see i've had the eyes since the last cell but for some reason it doesn't load the next cell so what you have to do is that at the beginning of the area, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to equip the eyes. So I take it off and turn it back on and watch. Oh my God, it's right there. So that might be an Oblivion thing. That might not even be like a mod thing or a scripting error. That just might be how Oblivion reads it. As, all right, we're just gonna skip it. All right, take the strange liquid. Probably not as strong as what mine would end up giving. But anyway, it's fine. All right, so be warned. This area is very, very dangerous. And that there are hidden traps everywhere. I'm not seeing anything over there. Okay. You can jump over here. Is this not the area that I think it was? No. Where's the area? I looted that already, probably. All right. Twisted light. Here it is. Shadow Bolt of Dragon's Breath. Nice. Starting to like these shadow weapons. Starting to look pretty cool. And we also have a Shadow Blade of Scorchin. 
So a little bit of uh, backstory about the shadow weapons in this mod is that after I played this mod and I ended up using one of the the shadow blades, I like the design of it, you know, it looks pretty cool, looks pretty interesting. So I ended up changing what Twisted Light looks like into one of those blades because I thought that would look kind of cool and not to use like Shivering Isles resources. I would use the Shadow Blade. The Shadow Blade looks kind of cool. Looks like a katana and it's got like a little tiger on it. Looks really nice. So I thought, hey, it would look kind of cool, especially as a uh, as a Dark King. It looks really nice. But then I remembered about the lore about Twisted Light and I was like, aw. So it doesn't really fit very well, but it's it's close to it. It's pretty good. We'll do that for now. That should be fine. Definitely need to heal, so I'll just use just drink a bunch of potions. Not like it matters anyway. There you go. That's what I mean. Not like it matters anyway. And this is what I mean by dangerous. So we're gonna save it here because this is definitely gonna be the end for us at some point. That doesn't have anything. That's nothing. Okay. that has nothing else for us all right so if you're new to this area or you are not really good at balancing be warned i think i can make that actually okay let's see can i actually make that is there an invisible wall nope if you have high enough acrobatics you can literally just jump i think i could probably just Nope, I can't jump that. But I can just skip everything. Nice. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do, though. I wanted to see if I could just, like, skip this, though. Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, like, walk around the line. Or walk across the line and make it around. And then you're supposed to go around here and then do this. Go down here. Skip that. Go straight for the chest. Which will give you stuff. And now, if you go towards this, runes again? Yeah. Why do I even bother? Runes, a leap of faith. So I'm going to take this off just so we can actually heal, please. Thank you. And there's water down here. So I said a leap of faith. All right, so you can continue onward. Nothing, no new enemies, no enemies of any kind. But if you want a cool gem over here, you can. There's nothing else here, I think. No, I'm wrong. There's this Shadow Cutter of Lightning. Those are always going to be random, though. But you're always guaranteed, I think, one shadow weapon. So definitely do recommend. Uh, let's see here. We all know what this one is, but just in case you don't know, it's great again. Take this. It's a poison gas trap. So, yeah. Come on. You can make it. Come on. There we go. Should have high enough acrobatics and speed just that. I would speed a little bump. Anyway. Yep. So, we also have... Some skeletons over here with some decent loot. Look at that. We got like a shadow mace over here. Very cool. Very cool. Where's your weapon, buddy? You have a shadow mace as well. It's pretty cool. What do you have? Got a shadow mace. It's pretty cool. Ooh, you have a shadow cutter. I can use that. What do you have? You also have a shadow cutter. Wonderful. What do you have? You're a shadow cutter. Nice. If we go up here, we have life points. And this. All right. What do we have here? I smash and bash and untrained hands, but dancing grace and those who know round of, the, round of teeth or pointed brand, lover of all with death to show. The three they came under darkness divine. Give to me your chateau and rewards will be thine. All right. So we need to give it the chateau mace. 
Uh, where is it? There it is. That's why they give you a bunch over here, too. Oh, you also got a Shadow Dagger. And once you're done this, you are now officially finished with this. Hello, advice. Okay. I don't think he says anything else between. Uh, okay, so let's see here. So it's this, this, this. I think it's... This, and then this. No? Wait, I think I'm forgetting one. Because it's the H, it's that. LP, and then it's that. There you go, I, I got confused. Alright. The door swings open freely now. Yep. Made one mistake. Not too bad. 